Okay, you are looking at right now the Acid Music Studio uh, work area. For this first little introductory video, I am going to just be showing you the loop selection. Okay, I have over here my uh, folder tree desktop computer documents within my documents I have a loops folder this is how I suggest you organize your loop collection you, just, you can open that up and within it I have a whole bunch of different loops that I personally have recorded over here loops I bought from Sony and loops I bought from other people actually this is all from one company so all you have to do when you want to create a start creating a track is whoops you select a loop in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and go into Sony loops here and I'll use basic they've got some dance stuff here let's start with some beats and you just select one you can starts playing okay you find one you like okay we'll use that when you drag it up here into the docking area your work area and you see these this bars here this is your time code you can see right over here it gives you your time that's your measure and beat so and you can also take this way way in close so it takes this is your beat here it's your slider controls there this right up here lets you uh, create a loop within a certain area by using loop playback right there but you can use your mouse wheel and slide this in really really close so that you're actually looking at every single beat for this track every single bit of sound is represented by this vol basically this is a volume of what's your what you're looking at but you can go in you can edit them change them cut things out it's just it's your most basic and most important function of working with loops is the ability to edit them and this like I was showing you lets you take it in and literally go down to the most basic uh, form of each loop so you got that's really all there is to it for selecting it's nice and simple nice and easy nothing too complicated about it uh, just run you over some of the other things that are right here up front and personal uh, as for how many loops you can get into a track I do not know it's really only limited by your computer's ability to play them at once this is the ultimate multi-track recorder if you're familiar with analog uh, you even have a metronome up here just put that on and does the little piano clicky bit which is good for uh, recording sometimes sometimes I'll use that if I'm trying to sing something uh, this is your beats per minute slider again like I was talking about in an earlier video you got nice and slow you take it down even slower or way fast But uh, your basic is usually 120. We use the uh, original tempo right here, which sets the whole track at the tempo that this track was originally meant to be used at. I don't use that very much because, generally speaking, uh, if you do use that, it throws off other loops and usually throws off whatever it is you're wanting to do stuff you know refresh if you put something in that folder you can refresh and see new stuff 
this gives you different views you can use. You got start and stop the preview on each one. You got your this is just a basic uh, folder selection a window right here. So that's just your up folder. Uh, right over here, you got your volume on your previews, and then your master volume, which is for your whole track. When you're playing something, you got your volume for everything that's playing right here. This is, you don't want this to go above red. If this go or above zero, if it hits above zero, that means you've gone outside of CD recording range, and it usually means you're going to be hurting people's ears. So, within the tracks yourself, you got your volume, slider, take it all the way down to nothing, all the way up to 12, which puts you over the red. Generally, when a track comes up here, originally it starts at 3.6, I would imagine that that's adjustable within the program's preferences on what it starts at, but it, I don't have any reason to because I just adjust after I put it up. Usually for things you want to go down. You know, unless it's just a real low vocal track, you usually don't want to go higher than zero. But generally, you want to go down with volume. You can mute a track so you can hear the whole song without having different pieces, or you can solo a track so you can just listen to that one track and adjust things if you're hearing something about it that you don't quite like. This is your track effects, and I will go into effects later. Up here, you got your draw tool. This is a selection tool, which just allows you to go through and select stuff, which is sometimes easier than anything else. And just your basic select and paint style program. It's, you know, real simple. You know, you just pick something and paint it in that's it obviously you don't generally want to use just a whole bunch of drum tracks it's not too bad kinda different <laughs> but that's all there is to it for your basic you know pick and select uh, pick and paint select and paint Ah uh, yes, time signature. You can change your time signatures, which is always easy. Always good. 4-4 four, four is basic. 2-4, that's a two-step. Um, I'm wondering why I'm not seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. And of course you can do custom. It's always good. Ah uh, yes, it goes to 32 as well. That's interesting. But really all that does is change how you're looking at the beats, your measures in this part, which you can adjust just by using the wheel. And, you know, that allows you to go in and out. So, usually this is so multifunctional that there's no reason to mess around with most of this stuff because any part of it, you know, this is for people that probably write music so they can get it exactly where they want it. But again, all this does is adjust your the board right here. And you can do that anyway by, like I said, rolling in and adjusting things yourself. I guess it just depends on how much you want to micromanage. So that's it for this introduction to selecting loops. Uh, next time I'm going to go over, I've already gone over beats for a minute, <laughs> well, yeah, okay, that's it, bye. <laughs>